Staphylococcus can cause more harm, can cause more danger than what we all think. And that is why in this video, I'm not just going to be explaining the signs and symptoms that you might see when you're having Staphylococcus infection, but I'm also going to explain to you the medications you can use to treat Staphylococcus infection successfully. Because the major complaint that people keep giving is, I've been treating Staphylococcus for the past one year, for the past one month, and despite all the medications I've been taking, I have not been getting a solution to my Staphylococcus, and they keep wondering what's the cause. Well, in this video, I'll be explaining all of that. We are going to be addressing all these issues in this video so we can know the major medications we can take for this Staphylococcus infection. But before we proceed, let's start by what is Staphylococcus. Staphylococcus are bacteria known as normal flora, which means they are healthy bacteria because they are meant to be in the body. But there are instances whereby these normal flora cause an effect to the body where they can cause an infection to the body. And that's what we're going to be discussing in this video. Now, it is very important you know that there are over 30 species of Staphylococcus we all have. But then we are going to be looking at the major Staphylococcus that is being found among people, which is the Staphylococcus aureus. This is a major bacteria that causes an infection to your body when the environmental health of the body changes. When the environmental state of the body changes, it can make your body to start having an infection caused by Staphylococcus. But don't forget I said Staphylococcus are normal bacteria that are meant to be found in the body. Now we are going to be looking at the major areas of the body that can be affected by Staphylococcus. And one of the major areas we are going to be discussing for this video is the reproductive organ. And for we to discuss the reproductive organ, we need to divide them into the male and the female reproductive organ. Now let's start with the female reproductive organs. And when Staphylococcus gets to your cervix, your vagina, your uterus, your fallopian tube and other parts of your reproductive system as a woman, it can cause an inflammation. And there are certain cells that are located around your vagina, your vulva, you know, your cervix called the goblet cells. When these cells are being stimulated during the process of inflammation caused by Staphylococcus, it can make you to start producing an abnormal discharge. So as a woman, you'll be seeing an abnormal discharge caused by this Staphylococcus infection. And you might not even know it is Staphylococcus infection because some of you might be blaming yeast infection. It's not yeast infection most times. It is mostly caused by Staphylococcus and you need to treat this kind of infection as soon as possible. Now, when this inflammation happens to your ovaries, it can make you to produce an abnormal eggs as a woman. So you'll not be able to produce quality egg that can be fertilized by a man's sperm, which will make you infertile as a woman. This inflammation can also happen to your uterus and when the uterus is inflamed, you will not be able to keep pregnancy as a woman. So as a woman, when you get pregnant after two, one month, two months, the pregnancy just goes off like that and you'll be wondering what's the cause. It can be caused by Staphylococcus infection and that's why you need to test yourself to know if you're having Staphylococcus so you can treat it when it's still at early stage. Mind you, this infection might be in your body and you might not even experience any of these signs and symptoms I've just explained. As a man, when Staphylococcus gets to your reproductive organ, it can cause so much damage to your reproductive organ. And one of the damages, it can affect your prostate gland, can affect your testes, can affect your vas difference, can affect your penis. It can make you to have weak erection, quick ejaculation as a man. It can make you not to produce quality sperm cells as a man and that will leave you infertile as a man. So Staphylococcus can cause so much damage than what we think. Now there are other parts of the body that can be affected by Staphylococcus. And one of the parts of the body which can be affected by Staphylococcus is the urinary system. When Staphylococcus gets to your urinary tract, it can cause urinary tract infection making you have inflammations in your urethra, inflammations in your bladder, inflammations in your kidney, which can cause pyelonephritis affecting your kidneys. This is caused by Staphylococcus infection. So as a man or as a woman, you'll be experiencing so much pain while urinating, you'll be experiencing lower abdominal pain, you may be experiencing blood in your urine, cloudy urine, odor coming out from your urine. This is caused by Staphylococcus infection and you need to treat it as soon as possible before it destroys your kidney. Now, the other part in which can be affected by Staphylococcus is the skin. It can cause cellulitis, can cause inflammation to your skin, dermatitis, you know, some kind of boils and abscess on your skin. This is all caused by Staphylococcus infection. Not just the skin, it can also affect your brain, causing meningitis, making you have recurrent headache. This is all caused by Staphylococcus infection. It can also cause respiratory tract infection. When Staphylococcus gets into your lungs, it can cause an inflammation to your lungs, your alveoli, your bronchi, another part of your respiratory system. So this will make you to have difficulty in breathing, coughing, some kind of catar, some kind of abnormal discharge from your nose, you know, pain on your chest while breathing. You might also be having a kind of increase in heart rate. This is caused by Staphylococcus glucose infection when it gets into your lung and you need to treat it as soon as possible. Not just that, Staphylococcus can affect your digestive system. So when you drink water that contains Staphylococcus bacteria or you eat food that contains Staphylococcus bacteria, it can cause food poisoning, making you to have an inflammation in your stomach, you no know, gastritis, inflammation of your intestine, causing pile and other symptoms like that in your stomach, make you to have low abdominal pain. You'll be complaining of ulcer every time because your intestine have been damaged by Staphylococcus. Now, after having yourself tested positive for Staphylococcus infection and you've been having most of the signs and symptoms of your 
explained. The question now is, how can I treat staphylococcus infection? This is the question that a lot of people keep asking. They want to know how to treat staphylococcus. And most people might have been treating it for a long time, months, years. And despite all this treatment, they keep having their staphylococcus in their body. In fact, it's as if you're not doing anything and you have been doing something. Now, that will not be a problem because most of the medications I'll be listening out today are medications that can treat staphylococcus successfully. But don't forget that medications are meant to be taken under strict doctor's recommendation. You are supposed to take medication under doctor's prescription, not under your own prescription. Because when you take them under your prescription, it can cause so much problem to you. It can cause so much harm to your body rather than good. So you need to visit a healthcare provider. They will check you, test you to know the kind of staphylococcus that is affecting your body. Because as I've rightly said, there are so much strains of staphylococcus that can affect the body. And you need to know the particular one that is affecting you. They will check you for resistance to know if you are resistant to some of the medication I'll be explaining. Now, one of the major medications that doctors will always recommend for mild to moderate staphylococcus infections are medications like diclozacilin, clindamycin, and cephalic. These are the major medications that have been recommended for mild to moderate staphylococcus infection. Now, there are instances whereby you might have been treating and your infection is now severe. It has gotten to an advanced stage. There are other medications that doctors will also recommend. And one of the medications that will be recommended for severe staphylococcus infections are medications like vancomycin and daptomycin. These two antibacterial medications are very effective when it comes to the treatment of severe staphylococcus infection. Don't forget, I said all medications are meant to be taken under strict medical prescription. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video very helpful, do well to hit on the subscribe button so you can be getting more amazing videos like this every day. And also don't forget to share this video to your friends so they can get this understanding you are getting. I will see you next time.